EasySign has a direct pipeline to the major RIPs. You can make a worksheet for, let's say, a print and cut workflow and use that worksheet now and in the future for any third party RIP without ever having to adjust anything. Let me explain this further. Say for example, you are using RIPX and Printer I for many years and made hundreds of worksheets for them. Several years later you are using RIP A and RIP B, and some repeat authors have presented themselves. No problem, the EasySign worksheets from that area will open unchanged and will be compatible with your new RIP and printer. Or for example you have multiple RIPs and top printers. Also no problem, the EasySign worksheets will work for any RIP and top printer. So what do you have to do to make this work? Well, Practically nothing, just press full color print. The current worksheet has multiple stickers with a print and cut line and a cut through line. Select the menu, file, full color printing. Currently I'm using the Onyx Drive RIP. As you can see in the hot folder combo, I have two printers installed, a Mimaki and a Roland. Let's select the Roland. Make sure both special lines are selected in the special lines list and now press print. Let's switch to the Onyx Drive RIP. As you can see the job is already being processed. In the preview you can see that the job is going to be printed without the special lines which is intended. These special lines are for cutting and cut through, not for printing. I have put the job on hold for operator, so let's switch off this to start printing. Let's give it a while. Ok. The printing is done. Now let's see where the print and cut line and the cut through line have gone to. Select the printed file and in the top the cut server icon. There are the lines, neatly separated, each on its own layer. What if I add a printer? How will EasySign know? Let's try that. To install a printer I have to close all the Thrive applications. Now I have to start the printer installation from the Windows Start menu. Ok, browse. Let's select um, HP Design yet. Select the first option and press install. Installation of a printer can take quite a while, so I've paused the movie until this moment, so you don't have to wait that long. Ok, click finish to launch the application and configure your printers. Let's just do that. Ok, let's set it to print to file, configure. Save, OK, and let's edit the quick sets also. Oh, we design it, edit, let's use hold for operator, and for cutter, select just any random cutter, because we're going to use EasySign anyway. So, now let's switch back to EasySign. And let's select the same menu, file, full color printing, and oh, there you have it. It's already known in EasySign. This is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of functionality of the third party RIP support. Just try it out for yourself.